Hey y'all, we are cooking the TikTok, um, I almost said TikTok pizzas, y'all. Nobody's making pizza. TikTok, uh, spaghetti, um, pasta mix thing today, whatever. I didn't necessarily see it on TikTok, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, because I don't even be on TikTok. I'm trying to create a TikTok, but ain't nobody really telling me how to use it and create videos, so they don't want me to blow up, but... Anywho, uh, we're making that TikTok pasta today. Somebody shared the link with me on uh, Facebook. So, um, back here, I got my pasta water on. Um, I have it on medium high. I'm about to put some um, salt in the water. And that's just, um, if you know, you know, that's so that the um, pasta will not stick. I don't put a lot of salt in the water. I really don't use salt. And when I do... That's what it's for, uh, the pasta water. And I'm going to put um, a dot of oil in it. Uh, vegetable oil. You can use vegetable oil, olive oil, canola oil, whatever kind of oil you got. Not no wild growth oil, but y'all get it. Just a little bit of oil in the water so that my um, same thing, noodles don't stick. And yeah, um, I'm going to let that pasta water come to a boil. I have a roll of ground beef. It's just a pound um, roll. And this is what I'm going to use to make the spaghetti mix. And this is the pan I'm going to use for my hamburger. I don't have anything in this pan. Um, I've literally just rinsed it. I don't have no uh, water. Or any, I'm sorry, not water, oil or anything. Because hamburger is going to create its own oil. And we're not trying to have no oily spaghetti. So... Ripped it like that, and I'm just gonna drop it in the pan. And I'm gonna cook this on a low medium to let that brown up. And I'll be right back to tell y'all what seasonings I'm putting in it. So, yeah, after you're done with hamburger, before you see how that hamburger stuck up there, uh, well, stuck right there. After you're done with hamburger, before you um get your seasonings and stuff, please wash your hands. No. Y'all know I say that a lot on here. Please wash your hands. And I'm also touching this hamburger, so that means I'm finna what? Wash my hands. So in a minute, when y'all see my hands is ashy, don't come on here and talk about my hands is ashy because I got well water. Like I be saying, it's dry water. I know some people that don't even do this with their hands, they will get a spoon and get it out. I'm going to use my hands because God created water. He allowed whoever created soap to create soap. So, it ain't that big of a deal. We can wash our hands. So, I will be right back. All right, y'all. We finna uh, turn the heat. I'm sorry, the uh, hamburger on um, a medium. At first, I said a medium low. I think I'm going to just put it on a solid medium. Um, I just lit my candle to set the vibe in here. Y'all. If you know, you know, and I love snacks. So anybody that knows me knows I love snacks. This candle, first of all, I love snacks for one. Second of all, I, banana nut muffins is my, is my favorite muffin. So this, um, this uh, candle right here, baby. Like that girl say who I can't never find. And I said, baby. Um, it smells amazing. I don't know why I opened that, y'all. I didn't need no pan. That's where my pans are kept. I ain't even need no pan. I need my seasonings. But the candle smells amazing. And I always set my vibe when I come up in the kitchen. Because if you know, you know, I don't even like cooking. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like cooking. If it wasn't for my kids, I probably wouldn't even be cooking. I'll be eating snacks. But. I have to set a vibe when I come up in here. So, um, yeah, I got that candle lit, and it smells amazing. So, uh, we're about to get ready to season this meat. I use uh, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder, no matter what I'm cooking. No matter what meat I'm cooking, I'm going to use, oh, four things. I'm going to use pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and um, garlic and herb. Baby, that don't matter what I'm cooking. I'm going to throw that in there. Because I'm making spaghetti, I'm going to also put in some complete, um, you know, the barilla, barilla, uh, barilla sazon complete, and I'm going to use some Italian seasoning because I'm making spaghetti. Otherwise, I would have just used what I said, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, 
and uh, garlic and herb. I try not to use uh, plain salt when I'm cooking because everything else has salt in it. I don't use seasoning salt for that reason. Everything else got salt in it. Um, and I think that's all that I don't use. Um, I do have like Slap Your Mama and um, Tony's Creole seasoning, but those are not seasonings that you need for spaghetti. So, um, I have to turn this fan on because I believe when you cook and have that uh, ventilated. And yeah, I'm about to season it and pretty self-explanatory, so I'm going to stop talking right here. Um, all right, y'all. I haven't seasoned the meat yet. I just been letting it uh brown up. I haven't even broken it yet. Um, but here is I'm just gonna pick y'all up a little bit. Y'all see that? I didn't put remember I didn't put no oil in this pan, so like I said, it's creating its own oils. And I know my little subscribers now they already know how to cook, but we manifesting. 50,000, 325,000, a million subscribers. So I'm talking to the ones who might be young coming in here and don't know how to cook. Um, but I hope y'all can hear me because I got that fan on. But I'm using this silicone spoon because it's a non-stick good, good pan and I don't want to scrape this up. DJ have already scraped it a little bit. I don't even know if I can show y'all. No, because I don't really see it right now. And Siobhan going to get on here talking about, my nephew ain't dead. No, my nephew didn't. Yes, your nephew did because he used a fork up in this pan when I told him to stir something up. But I'm breaking the meat down. Not too small yet. First of all, not too small in general because we not cooking tacos. Baby, tacos, I'm going to break the meat down like a pound. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry, y'all. I'm sorry because I can't let my flesh be coming out like that. But, um... Yeah, I'm not going to break it up too small anyways. Um, because it's spaghetti, but I am going to break it down a little bit more than I have. But, um, I let it cook up before I do that. Um, I might need to bring y'all higher so that y'all can see into my pan and not just the pan. Let's see. There we go. Okay, that girl getting somewhere. There we go, y'all. Y'all can see the pasta water in the back. It ain't doing nothing yet. Um, but we're going to go ahead and season. Um, remember, I'm only making one pound of meat. So we're not doing too much seasoning. Um, I am so sorry. I don't know no measurements. Um, I told y'all what my girl Peach say. Season to the ancestors say that's enough. Okay? So just eyeball it and... You know, season to your ancestors told you. That's enough, as my girl Peach say. So that was um garlic powder. There go my hands getting dry. Uh that was black pepper. I'm going in with the saison. Now you gotta be careful with this saison, okay? Because the saison overdo its part if you do too much. Um, I'm going to use my garlic and herb, my McCormick, all-purpose seasoning, rustic Tuscan style. I'm going to use that garlic and herb. Not too much, not too much. I got a pound of meat. Um, but if you ever ate something that I cooked, then you know you was going to taste that seasoning. Because it's going to be seasoned. So right now all I'm doing is mixing it in. I have to put in onion powder. I have used no onion powder. Um, I also have to cut up my peppers and stuff and put them in. But I don't put them in when the meat is fully, fully pink. I let the meat cook up some. I haven't put in the onion powder yet because y'all don't know the truth. I don't even know if I still got some. Remember I said I use it in everything? So I don't know if I still got some. I had to look at the top of this cabinet because I ran out of the other one the other day when I was making um, stuffed chicken breasts, which I hope y'all see that video before this one. But baby, that editing, okay. So I don't know if I got uh, still got any part I'm about to look. If I do got it, I'm going to use it. If I don't, baby, I bet you this still in the bus. All right, meat's cooking up. And I'm just using the spoon just to break it down a little bit more. Um, in goes our chopped veggies. We're going in first with onion. 
I'm doing onion, red pepper, and green pepper. If I had orange, I would do orange, um, but I don't have it, so onion, red pepper, and green pepper. In goes our red pepper and green peppers. We not put no seeds in there, that's from the green peppers. Um, but in go red pepper and green pepper. So right now, so far, I have the meat browning up with the seasoning, no oil, with just the seasonings. Um, breaking the meat down. Please break your meat down because if you have big chunks, it could be pink in the middle still. Um, but I have the meat browning up. I got red pepper, green pepper, onion, and my seasonings. I did not have onion powder. Um, so what I ended up doing was just, um, just pepper, garlic powder, uh, garlic and herb, and complete. I never heard nobody tell me um, my stuff wasn't seasoned. I probably seasoned the best catfish you'd have never had in your life. And guess what? I done made catfish sometimes without black pepper and without um, and without um, onion powder. So I do have my pan on low now, letting this cook up, breaking it down. I'm not even gonna say again what I wanna say. Um, breaking the meat down so um and again i did not make this recipe up somebody uh showed me this from tiktok honestly it was my cousin jasmine so yeah i'm hoping to do a video with my cousin jasmine it might be um a little ways out though since we now live a distance from each other but i'm gonna get her on my channel though um or on our channel i should say but yeah, cooking this up, and what it is, is you cooking up the um, spaghetti noodles, which I'm, I now have moved this to a high because it's, it's overdoing this part. It's taking too long for me. So I have now turned that up to a high. Um, I have my meat down to a low medium. Um, and what it is, is you cook up the pasta noodles. You're going to mix the pasta noodles with Alfredo sauce. You're going to literally like you eating fettuccine without the chicken or the shrimp or whatever. So just the noodles mixed into um, the Alfredo sauce. And then your meat, you cooking it up like you would cook up spaghetti meat. Except, baby, I don't have all these peppers in my spaghetti. I'll use green pepper and onion. So that red pepper was a stretch. However, um... They use, I have seen the videos where they use that on uh, TikTok because I watch different variations of it. Um, so you cook this up like you would normal spaghetti and you basically putting that in, you putting it in a baking dish like a lasagna almost, but you putting in your noodles and then laying it with your meat sauce um, and then um, Put some cheese on the top, baby. I'm going to throw some pepperonis on the top of mine, too. Because I still have some pepperoni. Um, and, yeah. And then it's supposed to be so delicious. My cousin had made it multiple times. And she just said it's delicious. So, we shall see. I'm sure hoping so. Because, baby, I ain't got no more power on the meat. And I'm not cooking nothing else. <laughs> if it ain't. So, I sure hope it is. Um, I'm putting my seasonings up. But, um... Y'all, y'all know the TikTok, um, the TikTok cinnamon rolls? Baby, I just knew I was going to make some TikTok cinnamon rolls until I really started, like, paying attention to what they was. Nah, baby, those cinnamon rolls and that heavy cream like that, they're going to be soggy on the bottom. People say they be, they, it make them soft and moist, but if you know me, know me, I don't like bread. Baby, I'm not a bread eater. Why am I not a bread eater? It's a texture thing for me. It's, it's the texture and bread gets soggy. It like, when you eat it, it gets soggy. So, no, I'm not gonna start out with no soggy bread. That's why I don't eat dumplings, chicken and dumplings, cause it's soggy bread. Man, no, we not gonna do that over here. So yeah, so y'all, meat just cooking and I'll be back when I'm pouring the spaghetti sauce in it. Y'all, I got my um, pasta sauce in here. You know, at this point, just letting it simmer, I made sure all my meat was broke down. Uh, all my, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep saying it, cause then I'm gonna say it again. So, 
y'all can see the little peppers and the onions and again i got the chunky garden um pasta so y'all can see the chunks of tomato but all that's cooked down um so now i just gotta wait on my pasta water and this basically just on a low simmer i switched these two pans um uh, the meat sauce is completely done and this is a bigger pan so i brought it up to the front but we about to put on the garlic bread while we wait on these noodles to do what they need to do i got canola oil great value brand but canola oil cooking spray um and i'm just about to spray down a pyrex pan oh not pyrex not as get never mind this is giving ghetto story I love that Boosie movie. I promise you. <laughs> that is so crazy because that's one of my favorite movies. But I sprayed that down with canola oil. The bacon pan. Y'all hear Maya in the background. But um, I sprayed that bacon pan down with canola oil. And I'm about to put uh, garlic bread in it. Um... We just have the, and I'm going to put it in the oven for a couple minutes. So, we just have the plain garlic bread, and I'm just, y'all can't even see my pan. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to show y'all after I put it in there. Because we just bought the, um, line this pan with, um, the garlic bread. And put it in the oven for a few, oops. Put it in the oven for a few minutes. Let me spread it out. Like that. So, I put that in there for a few minutes. I'm going to let that... Um, I'm going to let that cook. And then I, I do put some cheese on the top of it sometimes. Um, either mozzarella or... Um, mozzarella parmesan anything like that um i got a pizza cheese in there um i probably wouldn't put that on it because i'm gonna eat spaghetti but pizza cheese is just a cheese that melts. it don't taste like pizza um but y'all see the water boiling now we okay i had to i had to uh get it on a, a big eye but i'm gonna go ahead and pour um the spaghetti noodles into there like so, like that, and remember, uh oh, not like so, like that, like my auntie tell. Um, remember, we um, remember, we got some a little salt in here so that it don't stick, and we have um, we got a little salt so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna move that because this eye was warm at first, so it's still cooking a little bit, so I moved it, but. We added a little salt so it won't stick and a little oil. Same reason so it won't stick. I let it cook like this. Sometimes I will break the noodles down. Uh, but sometimes I let them cook like this because as they get soft, they'll start to fold and mold. And I can uh, spin them around in the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and get my fork on so I can be mixing them around. Y'all, I got to tell y'all about my friend Darian, a.k.a. my cousin. Because we just found out him and DJ is cousins. Um, because that's Sean's cousin, so in all reality, that's my cousin, because, I mean, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. What, what, um, what Cash Down say? I don't know, but baby, it's stamped and signed. His middle finger got my ring on it. I don't know what Cash Down say. Don't nothing move till I sign shit. You might as well be my side. Hey, let me go listen to that. I gotta go listen to that. Y'all, I might cut this part out. If you know, you know. I'm saying, through and through. Through and through, y'all. About to get a glimpse. I went ahead and turned my eye down. I had it on high so the water could start boiling. I just turned it down to a medium high. Um, but did y'all see how the noodles just, uh, just started, you know, folding and molding and bending in there? Um, so, yeah. So, that's that. So we just gonna let that cook. We got the garlic bread in here cooking after that. We're gonna go ahead and line it in our Pyrex dish. Um, that ain't even Pyrex, y'all. This one is Anchor and Hocking. That's the brand, but it's, it's the Pyrex to me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna let that do that. And then I'll be back, y'all. I thought I wasn't even recording, but it is recording. So we're gonna let that do that now i'll be back this is a quick little meal don't take too much quick one too um 
like I said, if you know how to make spaghetti, I mean, you know how to make it. To me, spaghetti is one of the easiest things to make. I feel like when you can't even cook, you need to start off with spaghetti. That's what I did. You need to start off and master spaghetti. And you can put your own little spin on spaghetti. Let it taste how what you want it to taste how. Um, but you know how to cook spaghetti. You know how to make it. This ain't nothing I made up, like I said. It come from TikTok. My cousin Jasmine sent it to me on Facebook. So, we making it today. Yeah. But, um, I, I'll holler. I'll be back. Give me your number. And I'll call. And I'll follow that in the mall. I don't even know why I'll holler, man. You think of that. But I'll holler. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But, yeah. I'll be back, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know right um, now during this voiceover. Like I'm just recovering from laryngitis, um, and, and then is, um, um, y'all gonna hear DJ in the background contact, said, on his um, doggone game. And for some reason, he had to be super loud on the game. But right here, I got the noodles um, in the pan, so they was done cooking. I'm pouring the Alfredo sauce on it. I don't know what. Initially like happened to the sound on this video. I promise y'all, like I'll be recording content in, in some way, day. somehow. I'll end up um, slowing some down, said, doing slow motion, uh, or speeding stress, something up, or losing the sound. I got to be more stressed, careful, but it's, it's almost February. So I done yeah. poured that store that brand Alfredo sauce year. in the so, um, spaghetti. Y'all, like, I am so very good for stressed, using store brand trauma, know, Alfredo sauce. I will season something up, he, look he at the flick of that um, wrist real quick before I just to make to some today, homemade like, sauce. Mama, now, if it came me, down to it and I had to do it, yes, I would. But would it be my first go-to? Absolutely not, baby. I'll season some store brand sauce right on up. So I'm pouring it in there and I'm realizing that... um. You know, this ain't really the consistency that I want it to be. I do yeah, get some so of the pasta water because I reserve some pasta water. So I, home, so I do I get some like, of that yeah, um, and shake it up in the pan and pour it in the there. Um, not in the like, pan. I'm sorry, y'all. Shake it up in the jar, you know, to get that stupid. leftover uh, uh, sauce out of the jar. But I'm going to notice low, that so is not the back, consistency that, that I truly wanted time. to be. This me here right now, and he was like, yeah, you know, I trying to mix it up. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to mix it in right now. And I'm I'm thinking, like, I should have been new before I kept trying to mix it. Like, look, it's dry. Girl should have been and, um, soft. Shake the jar up. But you still need some more though. Yeah, like so we the jar today, getting shook up ain't gonna get it. That was the result. Sitting there trying to mix up some dry so look at that. Um girl, that's spaghetti dry. Oh no. Yeah. Then you know, I don't know what I was but doing. Um I told him, Oh my god, you look so different. what I was paying like, attention to or what? Oh my god. But I'm going to realize that so this little. ain't it. I'm going to try to scoop it out the corner. Like, oh, that's like, really going to make a difference. Like, oh, um, it's gathered up here in the corner. Yeah, so Girl, still dry. Then, oh my God, so, so much eventually, I'm going to get hit with a V8. <laughs> and I'm going to grab that other jar of Alfredo sauce. Now, All right, tell I told y'all you could use it. Or did I tell y'all? I don't know because okay, I lost the sound on this part. But... You can use any brand of um, Alfredo sauce that you want. You can do homemade Alfredo sauce. Can y'all see it? You can use any brand. You can Hold on, um, turn the light off. mix the brands. You can use I'm store brand, your favorite name brand, whatever. I'm turning the light down to show y'all. Y'all can see it. Oh, y'all can see it dry with the light on. Jesus can Maybe see it dry. Maybe the light. Anyways, um, that first I jar, I use the store brand. More. Like I said, store brand, just season it up if you it want it, corner. you know, the, to your taste buds. But the next but jar I'm about to it's use, I'm going to show y'all eventually when I grab it. This Cody. is going to be a name how, brand. You know, it's Cody either Ragu or Prego. All right, y'all, we bet. Bet, bet, we bet, bet. And remember I said, whatever kind of sauce you want. Y'all see, I had a store brand cheese Alfredo, cheesy Alfredo pasta sauce. Now I got a ragu roasted garlic parmesan sauce. Uh, whatever kind of sauce you want is what you're going to use. Um, but y'all, I just wasn't confident in the 
velocity of the moisture on site. It's like, I'm acting like K Hood now for real. Um, but I just wasn't confident in, you know, how that, um, how that sauce is saucing because when I bake it, some of that's going to dry up. You know what I'm saying? And nah, I wasn't feeling it. But you do, when you make a pasta, you reserve some of the pasta water. So what I just did, I got out of the jar what I could get out of the jar. That, I'm going to pour a little of that pasta water in and mix it up. See this? This? Yeah. And then I'm going to pour it back in here. Um, see this? This looking more so like what I need it to look like. Yeah, this looking like what I need it to look like. I know people probably watching this like, oh, baby girl, that's too much sauce. Too much sauce. Hey, too much sauce. Hey. Um, but it's not. I, I really, before I poured this on there, I tasted the noodle. All way, and this is a new fork. The other one that I tasted is right there, even though I'm cooking it. Even though I'm cooking this for my own household, the other one that I tasted is right there because I still don't do that. Um, I be trying to teach DJ not to do that. Even though it's us, it's him and me and Amaya, I still be trying to teach him to not do that. Because just, just go ahead and get in the habit now. Got some of that pasta water in here. Shake it up. And pour it in. If I let that sit, it's probably going to generate a little bit more. But this is ooh, this is good for me. Um, I just uh, pop some of this pasta stuff in here. But that's fine. So this is the fork that I was uh, just using. But I don't need to taste it again. I can eyeball it and see that it's giving everything I needed to give. So now I'm just layering this spaghetti sauce right on the top. Um, covering the whole thing. Basically, like you not making a lasagna, but covering a lasagna. Because if you make a lasagna, I would have been layering it. And seeing as I'm not, it's not like making a lasagna. And please don't forget the sides. This whole side empty, but only because I knew I got, I still got meat sauce. Um... But yeah, um, I, I think I was telling y'all about my friend Darian and I didn't finish because um, I got off on a tangent. But that's basically my cousin. I said what I said and ain't nobody going to tell me no different. And that's one of my closest friends. And I said what I said and ain't nobody going to tell me no different. And y'all know in the beginning, and we have a good key key. I promise y'all I have my best laugh with either Davana or um, Darian. Like, legit, my best laughs. Um, Because Devonna, she think I'm nuts with that. <laughs> she nuts. The girl is nuts. Um, But, uh, Darian, y'all, I'm going to have to find out what his dad, uh, his dad and stepmom, um, uh, YouTube is. Because they be doing skits and stuff. And if you know, you know, Darian's dad is one of the funniest people that I know. I don't even know his dad. One of the funniest people that, I, people that I've seen. But Darian is funny as hell. I promise y'all, that man's is funny as hell. Um, and like I said, that's my cousin because that's Sean's cousin. And if you know, you know. I ain't got to go into that. And that's, that's Sean's only family. That's my family. But I ain't going to carry on. So, um, I got it like this. I'm about to go ahead and layer it with some cheese and some pepperoni. Cheese, cheese, and pepperoni. Cheese, cheese, and pepperoni. Um, so yeah, we're going to layer it with some mozzarella. And if I run out of the mozzarella... We're going to layer it with um, Parmesan. And I'm probably going to run out of the mozzarella. So, I'm and I'm going real light, y'all. I'm not being skimpy. 
I know that I'm going to run out of this cheese. So, I'm just trying to get a little bit everywhere. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm making a recipe, I don't necessarily have to use the whole cheese. So I will have, unless it's macaroni and cheese. So I will have um, some cheese left over. And that's why I had a little bit of that. And I'm going to go in and fill it in with, um, I almost said, with, I almost said mozzarella. I'm going to go in and fill it in with, uh, with this Parmesan, this finely shredded Parmesan. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to have to do a voiceover because I'm getting a call on my other phone. I got two phones. One for the plug and one for the low. I got two phones. Psych, y'all. Hold on. Hello? This laryngitis just got me what so bad, y'all. I can't even wrap two phones. Uh, but anyways, um... You know what? Two phones was probably the last uh, time I really listened to there? some good music from Gates. I don't even fool with him no more. Oh, I, I, I don't like know. It, it, uh -uh. So, I'm not like the random uh, standard females who like him because they think he cute, Black handsome, whatever. Never play with me like I'm not in I was never into Gates that. like that. I like the music, no. and the music have let me down. But here, I'm just no, layering no, this with no, cheese. No, um... I don't know who had video chatted me. It was either Siobhan or, uh, I almost said Marley. Siobhan or Brittany or Melissa. I'm not sure which one it was. But I've layered it up with cheese, both the mozzarella and the Parmesan. And now I'm going to go through and uh, put the pepperonis on the top. Pepperoni. I'm here trying to tell y'all that I'm putting the pepperoni on. So, I'm probably going to speed through this part, but that's all I'm doing. And then I'll come back and show y'all how it looks when it's all done. Alright, y'all, here it go. Fresh out the oven. It smells amazing. The cheese is melted down. You can see it bubbling on the sides. Can y'all see that? Get into it. So, I'm going to let it rest for a minute. And then I'm going to dig in it and plate it up. Definitely forgot right, to get the footage go. of the Fresh plates, the even oven. a picture of the plates. But y'all, it turned it out so good. Amazing. DJ, who's not a big spaghetti fan, he sides. loved it. He said, "Mom, yeah, this bus is real good." Get it. And it's so surprising, but that Alfredo sauce and that spaghetti sauce so, together is not a bad mix. A minute, so good, TikTok spaghetti. Try it out. Let me know what you think. 